What's going on, y'all? What's happening? It is Crew, aka Randy Stone, checking in. I am your cosmic root work astrologer, checking in for the Mars through the houses series. Mars in the first house to be exact. So if you have a Mars in the first house, this video is for you. I specialize in evolutionary astrology. So if you're interested in learning about your karmic past lives, as well as this current incarnation and what you've come to do in this specific lifetime, then hit me up. I'm currently doing a donation-based barter and trade readings. So definitely hit me up if that is something that you're interested in. I also have courses available and I've also just dropped the Chiron through Aries in the houses series. Um, we actually just had a Mercury conjunction with Chiron. We're going to be also having it April 15th and May 7th. And also Chiron will be out. Chiron will be in Aries throughout the year. So if you want to learn more how to a little bit about your Chiron placement in depth um, and also uh, how to alchemize your Chiron placement, you can definitely check it out um, by the links below. And uh, yeah, those courses are available. Um, first course is in a long 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 time so i hope y'all enjoy um for sure and also too if you do purchase the course tell me what you think about it um in the comments or send me a message whatever the case may be so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the first house mars in the first house to be exact um let's talk about the energy of mars uh the planetary energy of mars a little bit about the first house and how those things combined so mars in the first house is where we look at our mars the energy in general is ruled by Aries and it's also ruled by Scorpio. This is where we see our vitality. This is where we see our energy. Um, it's the things that get the people going. You know, it gets us going. I love Mars, honestly and personally, because you can really use this energy. Honestly, this is where we can see someone who uses, which Mars is like your anger, the energy that you embody when you're upset or angry. And you can alchemize that into something creative. Even your sexual energy is ruled by Mars as well. And you can really alchemize that into something very creative with Mars energy here. Um, this is the weapon of choice. This is the energy that gets us out of bed. You know, the energy, like I said, when we're, you know, ready to throw them blows. This is the energy that you'll see, um, especially in like conflict and things like that is with this Mars energy here. It's the warrior god of, of the Zodiac. So with Mars in the first house, you can see somebody who's very physically intact not to say that they are physically intact but it would be good for mars in the first house people to be physically i mean all of us to be physically active but usually there's a lot of focus on the body the physical body because the first house rules over the body it's our physical appearance it's our um you know the ways in which we perceive the world and how we kind of uh the lessons that we come to learn in this lifetime is housed in the first house and so somebody that has mars in the first house like i said is physically usually very fit or working towards being very physically fit, um, very strong focus on the body. They can be very assertive, very like about their business, very much so about their ambitions, what they wanna do. They have like the energy, kind of like that energizer bunny, the energy to like get up and get things going with Mars in the first house here. Very much so a pioneering spirit. They're trailblazers of the Zodiac, I would say, especially within the first house. They're always thinking of like, okay, if I want to do something versus like keep vacillating over it. I mean, unless you have Mars and Libra in the first house. Now, granted, not to say that Mars and Libra don't get things done. I'm just saying they could be a little bit back and forth about what they want to do. Um, but all in all, Mars in the fourth house, it wants to give you that uh, vitality and energy to get things and uh, get things done you know um also too i wanted to say i didn't write this down but i wanted to kind of mention that mars in the first house sometimes you can find uh people who i would even say mirrors of um mirrors of conflict with mars in the first house so people who might want to start like arguments with you because mars is like conflictual and mars on your first house is like ex ex like happening towards can be happening towards you or energy that you can attract to yourself so you can find that people kind of might want to start I and mean, it's not like a fight or an argument like people who want to like debate with you that want to spar with you um over words like you know just it's not mercury per se it's mars but like you might find that with with some people you know what i mean if you like i don't know why people always want to really arguing and stuff with me or debating with me like stuff because mars is on that first house so you might just kind of run into that not for everybody but for some people you could definitely figure you could definitely find with mars in the first house that that's happening for you also with mars in the first house um 
You can also see, uh, like I said, confidence in achieving your goals and also your ideas and the things that you want to get done. Um, they're very good for like stating what they want and then going after the thing that they want to do. You know what I mean? Unless you have Saturn close to the, the you know, the Mars sign and there's other placements that can also like maybe hinder that kind of energy. All the cats, all the babies are out today. Um, but yes, you could just see somebody with um, a lot of energy, a lot of vitality. Um, very motivated, assertive, and yeah, ready to get the things done, ready to go after what it is that they love, ready to go after what it is that they know. And um, yeah, just really show up uh, for themselves. Um, I would also say just with Mars in the first house, just be careful of um, accidents when it comes to your, like if you're dabbling physically with something, if you're dabbling, like maybe you're working out, you know, and you're picking up you know, stuff to, to do the thing, you know, when you're working out and stuff like that. Just be careful of like physical ailments because even though you could be physically fit, you can also be prone to like accidents to when it comes to like working out and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So just be careful. Maybe be careful on the tools and stuff like that as well with Mars in the first house. But all in all, that is what I have for Mars in the first house. We're going to be moving on to Mars in the second house. Ooh. Sorry. Who? The um, springtime is bringing in some things. But uh, yes, y'all already know what it is. It's a rainy storm checking in. Make sure y'all definitely check out those classes. Um, also, two personal readings. And yeah, um, I hope to see y'all in the next one. We're going to be doing Mars in the first house through the fourth house this week. And then we'll move on to Mars uh, through the uh, fifth house through the eighth house next week. This whole month will be Mars. So uh, definitely a major focus on Mars and things and so yeah and if you haven't checked out my Chiron series I've did that uh probably like a couple years back so you definitely want to check that out as well too I will probably link that in the boxes so y'all can see that but other than that you already know what it is it's rainy so I'm checking checking in checking out what I doubt okay I'll see y'all next one deuces